to video on how to make a smart board type device for your PC or Mac. Uh, this video will be for Mac. I will be in making another one for PC. Okay, so when you want to try and launch Wii Remote Whiteboard software to get it to work, there is quite a trick to this. So you have to make sure that Bluetooth is enabled, like I said. You want to click Wii Whiteboard software you want to press the 1 and 2 on your Wii remote so that they flash just like that. Uh, just wait for a Wii whiteboard to, to uh, open up. Doesn't usually take this long. There we go. So you can see that it found the Wii, um, the, the, it found the Wii remote. Um, and mine says calibrated because I've already calibrated it for the screen. Um, but I will hit calibrate. Then it pops up with this kind of window. And what it'll do is it'll, here's, I'll take my pen, you can kind of see it in the camera that it turns purple. But it's but you can't see it to the naked human eye. So what you do is you is you go to the dot to the center of the cross and just press the button. See if it turns to a green thing if it's found it, and it won't if it um, if it can't. So let me just do that quickly. Uh, and that one. Okay, so really quick calibration, and then you can basically move windows around like that. You can do double like right clicks on this if you're left handed. Uh, how you do that is you, can, you have to set that up within the Wii Remote software but you can hold it down and it will actually bring up the right click feature. Um, so let me show you that quickly. Go down to preferences then you hit mouse control. And you just hit mouse control. Then here, double right click. You have to you have to enable it. Then you can change one half second, one, two, or three for how long you want it to. How long you have to hold there for for it uh, to pick up a double a right click. Um, I got the smart board. Uh, software, so I can actually draw on my screen. So I can draw basically on anything in like a new layer, which is kind of fun. And then you can you can erase it. Choose the side of the eraser and just erase it like that. Yeah. Anyway, you get the idea. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, there are also some programs that do support multi-touch. Sketchbook Express is one of them. It's a drawing program, obviously. Uh, Notebook is the smart board software that does come with it. And there's a bunch of cool games for this one, for this notebook. Uh, so yeah, so the PC version is pretty much the same. Well, you need a Bluetooth adapter for your PC, and you just buy the, and you just get the, um, there's a 32-bit version here, and I'm pretty sure that there's a 64-bit as well. And, uh, there is multi-touch source code, which is basically a giant grid that you can, uh, magnify and rotate, and there's also, there's also a bunch of programs here that do support multi-touch if you are looking to get some. So yeah, thank you for watching. This is Tech Guyification's YouTube channel, signing out.